Okay, so now that you're ready to get shooting, let's take a look at how to open the viewfinder. Start by sliding right on the lever on the top, and it should pop up. With most cameras, everything will unfold and you'll be able to see through the viewfinder right away, but I bought mine off of eBay and it's a bit it's a bit touchy with the mechanics, so I use a bottle opener to kind of just pull it up and everything will unfold. And when you're ready to use the magnifying glass, again slide right onto the lever and the magnifying glass will pop up. Again, sometimes you might have to jimmy it a little bit, but once it's ready, this will help a lot for getting details and shooting portraits especially. Alright, so once you've figured out how to actually open up the viewfinder and the magnifying glass, the next step is going to be to find out how to shoot. And when you first start out, you might not realize why it's kind of locked up. And this is usually for one of two reasons. First being the dark slide. The camera won't fire if the dark slide is in. But if you know that it's not because of the dark slide, it could be because there's no film in the camera back. So if nothing's working out, um, you can test it by taking the camera back off and firing it. And it should work. If it doesn't work when you take the camera back off, then it could be a, a faulty camera or a problem with the mechanics inside. But the only two reasons as to why it shouldn't be firing are the dark side and if there's no film in the camera. For most people, for most tutorials rather, um, people will tell you just wind this knob until it stops and a number one will show up in the window and then you're ready to start. However, if you have an older back like I do, you can wind forever and no number will show up you'll just go through the whole roll without taking any photos. So in order to prevent this from happening, what you're going to want to do is open up the back latch and look through here. When you're looking through here, try and look for the number one to show up. And once the one appears in the latch, that's when you're gonna to need to actually and you'll see some arrows you'll see some lines but keep on winding until you see the number one in the dead center of your circle which I don't think you can see right now but you're gonna need to find the number one and once you're ready go ahead and close your back and set your ISO um, and when you're ready to show number one in your window box, go counterclockwise on your lever and the number one will show up. And now you're ready to shoot number one once you take the dark slide out of your, out of your camera. Alright, so for the last tip of the day, we're going to take a look at how to change the aperture and shutter speed combo. To do this, you're gonna take a look at the lens. You can see all the different combinations right here. And to change them, on the right side of the lens, you're gonna grab down on the lever and you're gonna just begin sliding the shutter speed combos to change it to what you desire. 